Hey, this is just a video showing you how to use the multi-purpose tray on a laser jet for you might have troubles getting it to feed from the multi-purpose tray. It might only feed from the paper cassette. First, what you want to do is check that the settings are in order. So just turn it on. Wait for it to boot up completely. Doing the self test now. Sorry about the lighting. Again, this is the LaserJet 4. It also works on the LaserJet 4M, 4 Plus. You don't need it, need it hooked up to a computer when you're just testing it, so it's fine. Okay, now it's ready. Shows up really bad because there's a lot of light in here. Okay, so. Okay. In order to get into the menu, you must be offline, so just press the online button. It's gonna turn off, okay. Now go into menu. I hope you can see it. Let's go to menu. Printing menu. And make sure the manual feed is off. You can change it from here and then press enter. But it's off here so it's okay. Then go back to the configuration man configurations menu. Enter here and multi-purpose tray equals first. Make sure that's the one that the one chosen. You can see a little star here. Okay, so all the all the settings are in order. Go to menu, test menu, and self-test. That's how you're gonna test. You're just gonna hit enter. So coming to the multi-purpose tray itself here open it up and do a test stack papers here make sure they're pushed all the way in and if it's not feeding properly then what you want to do is check the roller first take off this part here just pinch Pinch downward and slide it out. The usual culprit here, you might get paper jams. That's not always the case, but you might. What first let me just say that what it's doing with the settings we just made is it's always trying to feed from the multi multi purpose tray first. If that doesn't work, then it's gonna go to the paper cassette. Okay. So it's not feeding, you've got papers here, it's not feeding from here. It's doing something, but it's not working. Usually this roller here it's is the culprit. It's not that easy. It's not that hard to to fix that. You might just have to stack more papers here or check the roller itself. This is how you remove it. You can there's there's a couple of tabs here. And if you can see. And you all you do is is pinch these two things here. Let me just get a pen. Or something sharp. Okay here. This is what you wanna. These two parts here. That's what you wanna pinch, and you're gonna slide this whole thing over. Okay, just pinched it and slid it over. If you can slide it over all the way this thing here might be in the way, just press on it 
and continue sliding it over and it's gonna come out as so so it might not fit the paper because this rubber thing turns around catches the paper and it's gonna fit it it might be worn out it might not catch as it used to when it was new which is logical because they're old machines uh, what I what I did was just put a bunch of electrical well not a bunch a few a few times around with I went a few times around with an electrical tape and that increased the diameter so when it's going to catch the paper there's mo more girth here okay just do that remember it goes on like that just make sure it clicks in and you can do a self test now it should start to feed from here if there's if there's papers it should go from here if, there, if there's no paper then it's gonna automatically go to the paper cassette but that's it I hope I hope that helps someone. Okay, so after doing all that, let's, let's test it out. I've got paper, my paper cassette. I'm also gonna put a, some paper here. I'm using A4. This is the European version. But you can also just slide it over for letter in the US. Okay, so make sure it's all the way in there. It, this is more difficult with just one piece of paper. If you've got a bunch in, it should work better. Okay, just make sure it's well put in there. So we're gonna do two tests. The first time it should get the paper from the multipurpose tray. And after that, we're gonna do a test and we won't have any paper here and should just and it should automatically get it from the paper cassette okay let's go here we're at the menu so remember in order to get into the menu you have to be offline not online so this is off and just go through the menu test menu go to self test and hit enter now it should just gonna help it here because there's only one piece of paper and it should fit from here yep It's coming out all right. Okay. Now we can leave the pizza open or, or close, doesn't matter. We're gonna go again into the menu. We're offline, so we can work from here. Test. Test menu. Go to self test. Hit enter. It's gonna self test. It. So as you can see, there's no paper here. It's gonna automatically get it from the paper cassette. Yeah, it's already catching it, so it's so things all right. And there you go. Okay, I hope it helps. Bye.